Let's talk about Kung Fu Panda yeah. 3. You work with Jackie Chan on yeah. all three movies, but what's fascinating about animation, you didn't meet Jackie Chan <laughs> until just recently. No, never met So you've, met. Made, you've made three full movies with him, never met him, and then how did you come to meet him this time? Yeah, we've worked together literally 10 years. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> side by side on one of the most successful franchises of all time. Never met the man. Never so much as a high five, not even a, like a glance from across the room. We've never been within 100 yards of each other. Yeah. Um, and it's because they record you guys in separate areas, Exactly. Right? That's how the process is, anyone who's familiar with the animated proceeds. <laughs> but so recently, like a couple weeks ago, I was in, uh, in China, in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm doing a junket, doing some interviews, talking about the movie. And then uh, a dude comes up and says, Mr. Chan would like to speak with you. I was like, what, with Jackie Chan? Yes, follow me, sir. And I was like, yeah, I'm following. And I got up and I left the middle of the interview and we went to the special elevator. I was like, oh my God, this is happening. Because I've been dying to meet him. And uh, we get to his special hotel suite, penthouse, doors open. In Shanghai, Jackie Chan's famous everywhere, but in Shanghai, he is like a god. He's like, yeah, yeah. He's got, there's a certain power. He has to stay hidden away because he's like a beetle. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> he, he, people scream and freak out. Right. Uh, so I go in and uh, I have I pass by like 50. His crew runs deep, like 15 deep, and I get and then I see the man and his aura is just glowing. He's like, "Hello, Mr. Black." <laughs> and we had like this powerful shake, and we had this amazing eye contact, transferal of energies. And he said, um, "Think of a movie. We do it." I was like, "All right." And then he said, "I have to prepare." So I was like, "All right, I don't want to take up your time, but I know that he was serious." that all I have to do is like think of a good movie. He wasn't talking about another Kung Fu Panda, he was talking about like a new project. Yeah, come on, something new, yeah. this would be great. People would love to see you do it. What's the idea? What do you think you're gonna do? I don't really, I'm still, it's kinda, I only have crappy ideas so far, but I think <laughs> right now what I'm working on is a show, maybe like, cause I love uh, cuisine, I love to eat, and I was thinking maybe uh, a, sh a movie called Cheeseburger, <laughs> where I'm like a chef, and he's like a chef, and we're competing sh hamburger chefs. I don't know what it is, but I know that there's like, on the poster there'll be like a bun and a bun and me laying here going, ah, oh, and then him laying on top of me like another piece of meat, ah, oh, and then. Please don't ever pitch. <laughs> wow. Don't ever pitch that idea to him. He didn't say it had to be good. <laughs> he just said, think of a movie, we do it. And I believe he's a man of his word. So you're just gonna, yeah, you're right. He's in on whatever you come up with. And sequel is so obvious, double cheeseburger. Nice! <laughs> we have the picture. This is the picture of your famous meeting with yeah. Jackie Chan. That Look happened. at that. That went down. He's dressed like a uh, 19... 1930s gangster. He was hiding his hair because he's got a special top secret do that's gonna be in his next movie. He couldn't let me see it. Oh, really? That's Yeah, so no cool. one can see the do. No, nothing, that's, that's great. That's a great exclusive that you have. Uh, <laughs> do you have any ideas for Cheeseburger? Because I know you're a tremendous writer. You're like one of my favorite writers. Thank you. You probably didn't know. He's like a, the most kick-ass writer in Hollywood. No, please, please. No, for real. <laughs> Look well. Check out Look Well if please, you get a chance. Please, Funniest thing ever. Please, uh, I do have a lot of ideas. You have to make it, there has to be uh, Kung Fu incorporated into hamburger. Right. You have to have fighting. No. Because that's what people want to see, so how people, are you going to do that? People will be pissed off if there's no Kung Fu in right. cheeseburger. So yeah, there's probably going to be like an evil uh, hamburger chef that wants to steal our recipe for uh, nefarious reasons. I don't know. No. <laughs> What if You're Jackie right. was a, a reformed assassin yeah. who went into the burger business to get out of that life? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That's and a then, good idea. And then he has to, because you're threatened, he has to go back to his fighting skills, even though he's sworn never to kung fu again. That's good. Would you, think, would you consider writing it on spec? <laughs> I'll write it on a napkin. <laughs> Tell you what. You write it. All right. And it's happening. That's happening. All right. Done. I think Andy cracked it. I gotta I, go. No, 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 hold it, Andy. <laughs> what? You can okay. do that this weekend. I'll do it this, I'll do it after.